question was, when acorns are exposed to fire, does that change the rate at which they're removed by predators and therefore improve or decrease the chance of that acorn being able to produce a seedling in the future? So I had four upland species and four more bottom one species. So I got those all collected and we had to collect a whole bunch of leaf litter. We took all this out into the field and, and we burned it um, over five different fire plots. So we set out acorns and marked them by species, um, shook them down just into the top of the leaf litter so that they would be uh, in the leaf litter strata, approximately the location they would be in fall when a prescribed fire would occur and then burned it. Each one of these plots consisted of nine trays and in the bottom of each tray we placed sand so that it wasn't just a plastic bottom. Um, out of those nine you had eight with acorns in them and then there was one tray that was left empty and above the plots up in a tree was placed a trail camera overlooking these trays. Those cameras triggered uh, when an animal came and then we had it set on video so that we could count the acorns as they were removed, watch animals remove them. So then we observed the plots for up to 20 days and then we had a whole bunch of data to go through. So at the end of the day, the burned acorns on average took longer to be consumed than the unburned acorns. By the end of the study, they were pretty much all removed. Almost every single acorn that was eaten by a deer in this project was it was a deer eating a burned acorn, with the exception of just a handful. Well, and if you're a deer hunter and you want deer to be more attracted to the acorns, then let that be a primer to get you set more fire. Right. What you're doing is promoting heterogeneity. Getting fire on the ground promotes heterogeneity. It's bringing out those effects that those predators have by either making them select more or select less those acorns.